Mr. Uh, Elk, we'll take it from here, um, Elmo. You betcha. I'll be back to pick you up in one hour. Just gonna get some lunch. Bye-bye. Well, Jim, this must be the spot. Worst infestation I've ever seen. Sure is, Hank. Never seen anything like it. This is obviously some new terrible strain of flea, Jim. Sure is, Hank. It's a good thing we're safely sealed in our airtight protective suits. Otherwise, we wouldn't last five seconds here. Sure wouldn't, Jib. <laughs> hmm, now where can an elk find a decent sandwich around here? Well, this certainly has turned into a potentially uncomfortable situation, Jib. Sure has, Hank. <laughs> There's nothing like a hearty breakfast to start the day right. Ah! Ah! Help! Ah! Oh! Oh! Help! Mommy! Ah! Uh, help! It's a jungle! Hmm. I wonder if Sharky is so cranky all the time because he doesn't start his day with a healthy breakfast. I know! I'll make Sharky a nutritionist breakfast so he might start his day off on the right paw. It never hurts to help. Sharky? Sharky? Hello, Sharky? I brought you some breakfast. Just wondered if you like ketchup on your eggs, Sharky. Can you hear me? Sharky? Sharky, do you want any of this on your eggs? Any of this? Dr. Elmo. I guess I gave him quite a scare. He's been like this for hours. Well, little kitty, it looks like he'll be okay. Just a little shook up. You know what they say. Time heals all when you, um, have your cake and, um, eat it too. Hey, what's this, Dr. Elmo? It looks like an empty jar. Oh, that. <laughs> I'm not sure. I seem to remember it's pretty important from some island. Long ago. Very dangerous. That's for sure. <laughs> you better toss it back to me. You got it, Dr. Elmo. <laughs> Something tells me that was a bad thing. Hey, now I remember! The Sharktarian flea! A terrible strain of pests! We're gonna need help! Um, uh, infestation hotline. Sharktarian flea? Um, we'll be right there after I dry off. Well, Hank, looks like we've completely sealed off all of the infested area. Sure have, Jim. No one can get in or out. <laughs> Move it, man! If I'm late, it'll come out of my pay, man! <laughs> Pizza Cat, man! Thanks, Mittens. We're in quarantine and aren't allowed contact with any other beings on Earth. Jeez, a kitty sure can't get hungry when he's infested. Quarantine? Man? Yeah, it's kooky. Apparently, whatever we touch becomes infested. Some kind of super flea or something. Very contagious. Well, thanks. It was great seeing you. <gasps> oh, man, busted! Then it's decided, Hank. The only thing to do is to keep the infested foursome contained away from civilized society. That's right, Jib. We'll trick the hapless creatures into this van, drive them to Cape Carbuncle, enclose them in this hermetically sealed capsule, and send the capsule rocketing to the far side of the galaxy. 
That's right, Hank. The Super Flea will remain as deep and dark a government secret as the Amelia Earhart disappearance. The real hair conspiracy. The artist formerly known as Prince. The walrus is Paul. The baseball strike. Elevator music. The Elvis identity change and relocation. Unidentified flying objects. Rush limbo. Fluorinated water. Fat free yogurt. Yes, sir. If the world knew our government was behind it all, the infrastructure of civilization as we know it would surely collapse, Jim. Sure would, Hank. Well, let's do it. We've got to do something to stop the madness. What? Stop itching! Skin burning! Please eating me! Alive! Maybe watch TV. Take mine off of itching. Kumbaya! It's Sunday! Nothing on but golf! He's lining up the shot. He's really concentrating. He's almost there. He's just about... No, no. He's lining up again. And he's about to putt. He relines his shot. He's concentrating. He's... Kumbaya, look! Golf! So boring! Boring fleece to death! Hey, man! You're right! They're dropping like flies! Uh, please, man! <laughs> Who is that, Sharky? <coughs> really? A birthday party? And they want us to go with them? Kumbaya, what fun! And now that we've solved our flea problem, we can look our best! Come on, let's go put on our birthday suits! Well, Jib, the poor unwitting creatures fell for the old birthday party ruse. Now with this signed presidential authority, we can blast the doom foursome into space. <laughs> I sure did, Hank. Now to trick them out of the house and into the van cleverly disguised as birthday clowns. Gee, Mr. and Mr. Uh, clown, it sure is nice of you to offer us a ride to the party. Sure, Mr. Uh, horrible infested doomed pussycat. <laughs> Uh, follow us and everything will be uh, just fine. <laughs> hmm, I thought these clowns were not as funny as one might expect a clown to be. We're out of here, man. We're out, man. Boy, it sure was nice of those swell scientists to reward us for finding a cure for those nasty fleas. Boy, they sure do treat us right. <laughs> sure do, man. This is great. What do you say, Sharky? Want some ice cream, man? Look at him over there, man. Just looking out the window, man. What's your problem, man? I don't know. I guess Sharky's just thinking and marveling about how everything works out in the end and how great it is to be alive. Here's a nice flat spot. We'll stop here and warm up. Uh, warm up? How are we gonna warm up Johnny Frostbite for a brain? We are standing on solid ice! You'll like this, Bill. I brought warmth with us. I call it 
fire! Oh, Scooter, that's incredible. This is all warm, you. You're a genius. You get nice and warm. I'm gonna go find more sticks to keep the fire going. Yes, you do that. You do that, Scooter. I will keep an eye on your fire. <gasps> nice fire, nice fire. I like fire. What? 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 Huh? Scooter, you stupid! No! Gee, Bill, I couldn't find a stick anywhere. I'm starting to think we may be walking on a frozen land of some kind. Say, where's the fire? You're being awful quiet. I don't think this is any time for swimming, buddy. You could catch a cold. <laughs> See, Bill? Looks like you might have a temperature. A temperature? Oh, yes, I have a temperature. But you know what? I'm about to lose my temperature. I, Bill. I. You what, Scooter? I. I! Over there! Yes, you, you, you! Over there, so what? No, Bill! There's a big eye! Behind you, right... Uh... Ah! Thunder lizards! Mommy! Run! It is them, all right. The human squat cutter! Yeah, uh -huh. Doc! Hey, they're getting away, man! Don't worry, Squat. They can't get far. Release the cargo hatch so we can unload our supplies. The release lever is on level two. I, I... Right, Squat. See, Doc, he's finally getting this Navy jogging. Uh, Cutter, what does that hatch release look like? Squat, it's a big red thing that says pull. It couldn't be more obvious. Aha! You mean this? Okay, guys, mission accomplished. Me that was a bad thing. Yes, squad sinking a multi-billion dollar submarine in the middle of the Antarctic would fit nicely in the bad things category! We've got to save what we can to keep ourselves alive. Right, Doc. I managed to save these snow vehicles, some warm blankets, and a week's worth of food. I saved our beehive grenade launcher, six rescue flares, a map, and a tent. Hey, right behind you guys! I managed to save this refrigerator, these ice trays, a box of unflavored popsicles, an ice chest, and this electric fan! Gotta help me lift this, won't you? Gladly, Doc. <laughs> hey, guys, uh, why would you want to lift that heavy refrigerator? <laughs> Quick, Gil! Behind here! We're okay for now, Bill. We're okay. Okay? We're lost in the Arctic tundra, Scooter. It's 10 million degrees below normal. We have no food, no warmth, no plan, no clue. My brain is frozen to the back of my nose. I have to go to the bathroom. My toes are icicles. And three thunder lizards are trying to blast us off the face of this horrible, frozen, forsaken wasteland of a planet. But besides that, I guess we're okay. Oh, yes, we're just... Then would you stop breathing down my neck? Give me a little space, would ya? Uh, Bill? I'm over here. But I felt hot breath behind. Scooter! Scooter, there's some kind of warm air! Must be from an underground hot spring where... Well, smells like maybe some fish die down there, but who cares? Oh, it's glorious and warm. Yes, yes, warm me. Warm me! Huh? Oh, wait a minute. This isn't a hot spring, it's... It's a... Hey, neat, Bill. It's a polar bear. You don't see that every day. Huh? Gee, 
Doc. How are we ever gonna spot those pesky humans in all this white? I can't see a thing out here. Don't you worry about that, squat. Problem solved. That's right, Kata. The Borealis Missile. Dr. Aurora Borealis created the Borealis Missile to leave a trail of colorful paint on its intended target. Once detonated, the target is so brightly colored, we'll clearly see the humans against the white snow. And when we see them, pow! That's right, squad, and not only that, the Aurora Borealis missile is solar powered by lunar reflection. It keeps going as long as it's night out. Wow! This Aurora Borealis missile is a marvel of technology. We're ready, Doc. You just give me the human's coordinates, and I'll aim the paint missile at him, and bam! The end of the human scourge forever, man! Okay, there's the short one, but where's the taller, stupider one? Something's coming in and moving fast, Doc. I'd almost believe the taller, stupider human is... up there. I wouldn't worry about it. The thing runs on lunar reflection. As soon as nighttime is over, the missile will deactivate. I mean, it's not like nighttime lasts for months up here or anything, right, Doc? Doc? <laughs> why, Scooter, why? Thunder lizards after me, let's go! There you are. Look, Bill, look how funny my beard looks with all this ice and snow. Funny. Oh, there's nothing funny around here, Scooter. The Thunder Lizards just tried to blow me up. I could have been badly hurt by flying debris and... When does the hurting stop? Bill, look! Some kind of cloth. We can make warm clothes. And look at all this stuff. We can use this to make something that'll help us. When, when does it stop? Anyone, anyone know? I'm caught in this! Oh, how do they do it? They're so tiny, but, but they always beat us, man! <laughs> They've destroyed everything, Doc! Look at our camp! These humans are far more dangerous than we ever imagined! I'm afraid it's true, boys. We must abort our mission and attempt another assault on the humans some other day. Gentle Sauce, put on your emergency cranium transmitters so the extraction team can locate us and we may be allied out. I hear him, Doc! The extraction ship! It's coming! Oh, I see it! Up there! In those clouds! Here come the rescue line! Hang on, boys! We're getting out! Woo! Thunder Lizard rule! Well, this is easily the stupidest idea ever, this... I call it a sled, Bill. Oh, great! A sled in the middle of a frozen tundra! And how will this sled serve us, Scooter? Can we eat it? Will it keep us warm? Well, see, Bill, if we come to a hill, our sled will slide and take us places. How lame are you, Scooter? A hill here? We're in the middle of a frozen tundra. There's not even a bump for a million miles, much less a hill. Take us places. Stage, what a fathead. Oh, slow down, Scooter. We're going too fast. Ah! Mommy! Help! Ah! Whee! Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. What are you talking about, Scooter? What is this Christmas thing? I'm not sure, Bill, but I sure like the sound of it. Yeah, well, okay then. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, everyone! everyone. Ho, ho, ho! Ho, ho, ho! Oh, you stop it, Scooter! This isn't funny! I ask you, Bees, isn't she a little flower in her own right? Gee, she's really, um, fat. Really? Yeah, man, she is really, um, fat, you know. Really? Isn't she a beauty? Yeah, she's really, uh, fat. Really? She's, uh, fat. <laughs>